Hey viewers, yesterday I bought this uh, 1992 Koga Miata road bike here. It's a really nice bike, but one of the things I noticed on there is this seat post just does not look right. It's like a steel seat post, got some rust on it, and obviously it looks like it did not come with this bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. But one of the other things I noticed here is on the seat post clamp, look how tight this little gap is there. And it's wider down here and kind of narrows to the top. So my guess is this is just the wrong size of seat post. It's too small that somebody put a smaller seat post in there and then just clamp this down uh, to make it fit. So I wanna go ahead and replace this with the proper size seat post. So I'll just go ahead and remove this current seat post here. Just loosen that and pull that out like that. The seat post that was in the bike seems to measure about 25.8 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to find out what the proper size of seat post that your bike should have. You can do some Google searches and try to find somebody who has a similar bike and find out what uh, size of seat post they have. Or you go to Sheldon Brown's uh, webpage. He has a uh, page out there, it's a seat post size database. And he lists a lot of uh, brands and models of bikes out there and what the size of seat post they have. And I went out there and for a Koga Miata Exerciser, and this is 1991, but he shows being a 26.8 millimeter seat post. Actually, for all the Koga Miatas, they're all 26.8 millimeter uh, seat posts that he has listed on his site. So I'm pretty sure that that's the size that I, a seat post that I need. Next, I want to completely remove this uh, binder bolt here and free up uh, this uh, seat post clamp there. Okay, now I'm gonna measure the inside diameter of this uh, seat tube here. So I got these gauges here, I got these on B-Bay. I slide this in and see how far it goes down. It goes about that far. And so that measures to about uh, 26.4 millimeters. And so normally, I, I would use that measurement to figure out what seat post uh, would fit in a particular frame. But as I said, um, what I think happened is when they had that smaller uh, seat post in there and clamped it down, it kind of got compressed down tighter uh, than what it should be. So I'm pretty sure the 26.4 millimeter is not the proper size of seat post for this frame, that it should actually be the 26.8 millimeter uh, seat post. So now what I'm gonna do to expand this out here is I'm gonna use a screwdriver here and slide this down in there and I'm just going to use this to kind of pry it over a little bit the one way and pry it over a little bit the other way. And if you're worried about damage to paint, you can maybe just cover it with a piece of cloth or something like that. And I wanna take my time doing this because I don't want to over expand it. Now I have a 26.8 millimeter seat post here. I try sliding this in and it actually does go in a little bit now. So it's close. So I want to expand it just a little bit more. So just put this in there and just kind of stretch it over a little bit this way. A little bit this way. Try it again. Nope. And there, that slides in. Still just a hair tight, so I think I want to just go for just a little bit more, just a touch more. And there, that seems to slide in pretty well there. So, okay, so I, I've installed the seat post there and I got the binder bolt back in and it fits perfectly. And the gap in the back here, it looks healthier and is not as tightly pinched as it had been with the other seat post. Okay, now keep in mind that I expanded this to be able to fit the proper intended size of seat post into this frame. Do not try to expand this uh, in trying to fit a larger than intended size of seat post into the frame. You'll likely damage the frame and chances are the seat post will not go all the way down into the seat tube as it should. Um, only try to do this uh, in certain cases like in this where it had been compressed down. 
Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, subscribe to that page. I have my videos all categorized. And I have forums where you can ask repair questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.